Jim Browning's channel on YouTube recently got deleted. Today is July 28th. It's 7.25 a.m. as I record this. Normally 8 a.m. every morning I'd put out an edition in my Tech Tales playlist. Today's going to be a special edition on my online security tips uh, playlist to provide information to my viewers uh, about Jim Browning because I know many of my viewers are are fans of Jim Browning. So a couple days ago, I'm while well, I'm a member of his uh, Patreon group, I'm going to switch over here to my computer number two. Received a a tweet and an email um, telling what happened. So this came from Patreon. What has happened to my YouTube channel is what Jim's uh, sending a message out to his Patreon supporters. If you're on the ball, you've noticed my YouTube channel has been deleted. And if we click on this link to go to his YouTube channel, we see the channel does not exist. I'm not going to click on this other link because that goes to some other Jim Browning that's probably unrelated to this trouble that our Jim Browning is having. He says it's a result of a scam. Yes, I fell for it. It only goes to prove that you that if you get the circumstances just right, anyone can fall for a scam. I'm hoping that YouTube support can recover the situation by July 29th and I can get the channel back, but they've not promised anything as yet. I just hope it's recoverable. So July 29th is tomorrow. So this may all be over with tomorrow if Jim is, <laughs> if this works out well. I will make a video on how all of this went down, but suffice to say it was pretty convincing until the very end. I hope to post a positive update uh, soon. So for Jim Browning to have felt fallen victim to a social engineering scam, actually in here he doesn't call it that, but let's go see what else he's told us. So on Twitter, he sent out a tweet uh, let's see, this would have been July 26, two days ago, uh, 2.06 p.m. So to prove that anyone can be scammed, I was convinced to delete my YouTube channel because I was convinced I was talking to YouTube creators' support. I never lost control of the channel, but the sneaky bleep managed to get me to delete the channel, hope to recover soon. So then here there's, a, I think, a screenshot of a message from the scammer. I can easily enter. These are my methods only and I now have more than 12 YouTube channels and there's a channel with 6 million subscribers and a channel with 3 million subscribers that he has compromised. I, I presume I'm presuming that is what that means. And then here on the uh, Patreon tab, that's is this, this is the same thing that came through on the email. Uh, Jim now Jim Browning, if you don't know about it, is a, a scam baiter, and I support him. I'm a member of his uh, Patreon, um, well, well, at a Patreon level. I really support him more than the other scam baiters. I enjoy the other scam baiters; they do a great job. Um, but I support Jim Browning financially because he turns the tables around. He'll let a scammer connect to his computer and he's able to turn the connection around to where he can access their computer. He can gain access to their records, their private confidential records about the scams that they have done, including phone numbers of people they have scammed. He's also been able to turn on their security cameras. He's been able to get the Kolkata uh, police in, involved. There have been some raids. He has been able to do some things that actually shut scammers down. I want to use this as an opportunity to in, two, two things. Provide the information that anyone can fall for a scam and that you've got to be on your guard. Now when he provides more information, I'll relay more information. I want to try to push people towards his, his channel in support of his channel. And I'm going to come up here to the Chrome browser and open it incognito window to show you what would happen if you just go to Patreon. I'm doing this incognito so that since I'm logged in to my Patreon, I don't want that to give a, a misrepresentation. If you're not on Patreon already, or even if you are, I just want to show you how to find Jim Browning. So if you just search for 
Jim Browning. This would be a great time to come on as a Patreon member for Jim Browning to show him support. So here's creating anti-scam videos. And then if you actually click on his name here, that'll take you in further. And here we're seeing his support levels. Now I have the screen zoomed in, so it's going to look a little different when you go to it. Starts at $1 a month. Hey, $1 a month. How can, how can you not afford to provide support to someone who's doing such an important thing? He is helping raise the awareness even among government officials. He'd been able to get the scam reversed, help people get their money back. He's been able to call people while they're in the middle of a scam and warn them, hey, that's a scammer, don't fall for it. So there's the bronze level, the $3 level, and then there's this piece right here, see all seven levels. And he has a great sense of humor down here. Let's see, so I'm at the mega gold level and then and he, he does Zoom sessions. So I've been on Zoom sessions with him. I'm sure he doesn't know, know me. He doesn't know my name. And then here's a slightly ridiculous level. <laughs> so I'm not really expecting anyone to join this tier, but, but here it goes. Um, let's pause here for a moment. I paused there because I neglected to set this one up. I want to point out that yesterday, uh, Scammer Payback, did a live stream and he provides some more information. He has direct connection with, with Jim Browning. They've done some collaborations. So he provides a little more information. And that's a three hour and 40 minute video. It, it's mostly of his actual scam baiting work. But at the beginning, he talks about Jim Browning's situation. So that's about it for this video. Uh, best wishes to, to Jim in getting the uh, YouTube channel recovered. So that's it for this edition. Normally 8 a.m. I publish uh, Tech Tales almost every morning. This video is coming out under my online security tips playlist just because it's more fitting. Have a great day. I hope that was useful. Catch you later. Goodbye.